As the former president, Donald Trump, prepares himself to do more and more of these rallies, he's already begun campaigning for 2024, there's some question about what Ron DeSantis plans on doing, how he plans on positioning himself because he has kind of decided to ride Trump's coattails to prominence. But if he's preparing himself to run for president in 2024, Trump might not like that. No. So there are some GOP strategists who spoke to Politico on condition of anonymity, of course. And we're learning now that DeSantis, while he loves to ride Trump's coattails, is actually pretty terrified of Trump turning on him. Last weekend, DeSantis actually beat Trump 74 to 71 in the annual Western Conservative Summit straw poll in Denver. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Results that surprised even organizers of the summit. Last year, for instance, Trump won the same straw poll with nearly 95% of the support. Now, one Republican consultant who's actually close to Ron DeSantis, who spoke on condition of anonymity, said the governor is, quote, very wary of eliciting the former president's rage. And he also told Politico, quote, we will take measures so that Trump won't get mad at him. But believe me, the more successful you are with Trump, sometimes it makes it worse. It's a weird spot to be in for sure. Like Trump doesn't like other Republican lawmakers stealing his thunder. He likes to be the center of attention. He doesn't like to hear about other lawmakers eyeing a 2024 presidential run. Trump in April actually took credit for Ron DeSantis' political ascension while tamping down on the governor's 2024 presidential dreams. So he told Maria Bartiromo that he's considering DeSantis as his 2024 running mate, that was kind of his way of getting ahead of things, which is kind of surprising because you'd never expect Trump to get ahead of anything. And now we're actually getting mixed messages from DeSantis himself. Trump is scheduled to hold a campaign style rally on July 3rd in Sarasota, Florida. A Trump official planning the Florida rally said that DeSantis's team was contacted about the rally, but the governor's office did not return a request seeking comment about whether or not he will be attending. Which is kind of surprising. Um, and so there are people close to Trump uh, who claim that there's no way that Ron DeSantis is planning to run. Mark Meadows, for instance, who was Trump's chief of staff, says Governor DeSantis won't even run. Uh, he's asked over and over and over again, every time I'm in his presence, he's been asked, are you running in 2024? So allegedly, Ron DeSantis keeps saying, no, I wanna focus on the gubernatorial race, I wanna get reelected. Uh, but we know how that goes. We know that politicians usually lie about what they're planning on doing in the future with running for higher office. Yeah, I love this story. Uh, so first of all, uh, Guys, think about how fragile poor Donald Trump is. That if anyone is going to overshadow him for just a second, he's like, me no like him. He was top ally before, me no like him at all now. He wins straw poll in that boring conference that Anna talked about. Okay, me no like him winning straw poll. Me thinking about getting revenge, for what? He didn't even do anything. He's been kissing his ass, your ass the whole time, right? And, and DeSantis, meanwhile. I love these Republicans. They're like, oh, you know, Democrats are betas. We like alphas, right? And DeSantis is like, no, 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 please, please, Donnie, please, I don't, I'm not, I don't mean it. I don't mean anything. I, I assure you, I'm a beta. I'm super beta. Okay, I'm sorry, Donnie. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to meet you in the trouble. I'll come to the rally. I won't go to the rally. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. I'm not running against you. I'm, be, I'm begging you. This is the one that everybody's excited about. That's why he won the straw no, poll. It's, I, I love it. I love it so much, right? Because this is another example of chickens coming home to roost. Uh -huh. Because GOP lawmakers notice Trump's ability to connect with Republican voters. And they're the ones who literally did their campaigning, their, their campaign messaging about how like, I'm the most pro-Trump candidate, thank you very much. In fact, Ron DeSantis put out comical ads, like embarrassing ads. If I, if this was my father, I would just wallow away in shame. Here's the ad I'm talking about. Everyone knows my husband, Ron DeSantis, is endorsed by President Trump, but he's also an amazing dad. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. He reads stories. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. 
I love that part. He's teaching Madison to talk. Make America great again. People say Ron's all Trump, but he is so much more. Big League. So good. So they ride that Trump wave for their own political aspirations. But it's a dead end, right? So now Ron DeSantis is trying to like figure out a way to angle for the presidency in 2024 without upsetting Daddy Trump. Because once you upset Daddy Trump, I mean, we've seen the way he treats other Republican lawmakers who dare cross him. Yeah. So, so good. That ad was one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen. Totally. I remember covering it when he was running. I'm like, this is humiliating. I mean, it would be less embarrassing if he did an ad of a giant cutout of Donald Trump's ass and just kissed it the entire ad. This is how much I love Donald Trump. And they just kiss, 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 kiss the ass. That would be less embarrassing because at least you're not using your baby. Okay. So, and of course, Trump said at the time or said recently, he's a friend of mine. I endorse Ron. And after I endorsed him, he took off like a rocket ship. Okay, but you know, you know, he usually brags about nothing, etc. In this case, it's actually true. Uh, the other guy in the in the primary, the Republican, was leading until DeSantis said, "No, no, I love Trump more than anyone else, even more than Kim Jong Un." Okay, and they started writing love letters back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, Trump, and then they fell in love. Then they fell <laughs> in love, just like the Trump said about Kim Jong Un. Anyway, and then DeSantis did win partly because of Trump's endorsement. That's partly why he's so scared of Donald Trump now, and that's why the new strong Republican leader is hiding in a cave, hoping that Daddy doesn't catch him because he doesn't want that spanking. Those chickens. What are those chickens doing again? I think they they, they probably come home and they, then 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 they, they roost. Yes, they're roosting. They're roosting right now. Mm, it's delicious. Yeah. I love it. I love every minute of it. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.